not a lot of free throws tonight. Seemed like you guys, you know, won the physicality battle. What did you notice in that aspect of the game? Yeah, I thought uh, to start we weren't as physical as we could have been, and then uh, we amped it up pretty good at the end of the first, into the second, uh, and continued that in the second half. So uh, I thought we were really good physically uh, and played a good game. Defensively, in that second half. Uh, in addition to the physicality, were there anything uh, anything that you noticed about just the way that you all defended and, and were able to wall off the paint? Um, yeah, I just thought you know we were we limited uh, mistakes that yielded like great shots for them, and they're just too good of a team to give great shots to. Uh, and I thought we were able to limit that in the second half. We were really tight in our coverages and our rotations, uh, and then we were physical and competitive. And uh, you add all that together, and we forced a good team to earn uh, what they got tonight. The third quarter, I know we talked pregame. I mean, kind of in the last time the Clippers came to town just about uh, prioritization and prioritizing certain looks. Um, and despite, you know, Norman Powell, you know, getting some threes off, it felt like you guys got almost anything you wanted. Just how did you see the, the prioritization of certain looks evolve maybe as the game went on? And just, on defense? Yes, and, it, and just especially in that third quarter. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just they're a hard team to prepare for. You can't take everything away. Um, we wanted to make them uncomfortable with some double teams and with pressure. Uh, and when you do that, you know, you're going to stretch out your help and you're going to end up giving up longer rotations, you know, and that's just a natural trade off of playing like that. But it's one that we're willing to accept uh, against this particular team. Uh, and, and I know you don't like ranking things. I won't ask you to, to rank where that quarter uh, falls in terms of defensive quarters this season, but I'm um, just the, the, the rim protection, everything that went into that quarter just your overall evaluation of, of the third quarter? Yeah, I mean, this is this this game, there's a lot of randomness coming out of the All-Star break. Um, so I thought it was great mental toughness by us. Um, starting with practice yesterday and shoot around today, I thought we did a great job coming out of the break and readying ourselves for competition uh, and diving in. But uh, I don't think we saw the best version of them tonight. Uh, and so I wouldn't read too much into the game outside of just a good mental test for our team that uh, we passed. Kawhi got off to a great start and then didn't get a lot of shots down the stretch. Did you Who's guys, this? Kawhi. Did you guys change? I think he was 8 for 9 and ended up about 9 for 12. Did you guys change anything? Was there any, anything you were doing differently there to take anything away? Uh, you know, he's, he's such a um, – he hits singles with his passing out of double teams. He doesn't really turn it over. He doesn't get hasty with his passes. He just – he throws the ball where it should go. Um, and so if you're not sharp when you double him, uh, or if you give him a steady dose of double teams, a predictable dose, he can really pick you apart and they can finish plays. And, uh, you know, we just amped up the pressure because obviously he got it going. He was a little bit comfortable early. He was getting to his spots. And then we, we started sending multiple people to him just to try to throw it off rhythm a little bit. Uh, and we had to tighten our rotation. Some of the pile threes in the first half were, you know, lateness on our part. There was one George one that was late. Um, but we tightened that in the second half and, and did a good job. They're trying to beat their defense up the floor. Um, how much of an emphasis was it to kind of speed up that pace and not let them pack the paint, especially after the last time you guys played them? Yeah, I just, you know, we want to be a team that's fast, you know, up the floor and then fast, more importantly, fast in our actions in the half court. And, um, you know, that's really important every night. It's kind of a, a fundamental skill that we have to have to execute our system. Uh, as well as we can, but it's also an essential skill against good defenses and switchable defenses uh, in multi-positional defenders like this team has. And so it's kind of life or death against this team. And um, I thought we did a nice job of that tonight. We had a couple possessions where we got stalled, but otherwise we were pretty good. And then when teams trying to pack the paint, does it just come down to you guys hitting those those open threes or does it come down to just more than that? Is it more complex than and just hitting shots? Uh, more complex. You know, we don't want to resign ourselves to the threes. You know, there's there's better stuff out there for you. You know, we'd like to get to the rim. We'd like to get to the line. We'd like to beat teams up the floor. Um, and then if in exploring those things, we don't have a crack um, and they take everything away, those inside-out threes typically are catch and shoot, and they're typically more open. Um, and as a team, we've generated a lot of open threes this year. And so those are the ones we want to take. Uh, and you're more likely to make them, you know. And so I thought we did a good job of, of making those plays and finishing those plays tonight. Uh, Andrew Schleck with The Athletic. Jalen didn't have a ton of points until really that flurry at the <clears> end, <throat> but was really contributing at a high level almost everywhere else. Yeah. Um, and especially defensively. What, what did you see from him, like, in the – maybe in, like, the smaller things offensively and then in just – 
defensively against the Slippers team. Yeah, I mean, what makes him unique is as as uh, potent as he is as a creator. He's as good of a system player. You know, he's got great system skills on both ends of the floor, uh, and so offensively he moves. You know, he cuts. He moves the ball. Um, I thought you know he found some great passes tonight, both for assists and and just you know transfer passes, and then defensively, you know, great intensity, great skills. Uh, and against a team like that that's got so many heads of the snake, you know, that you need matchups for, you know, he's guarding a, a maybe you know, future Hall of Famer, you know, basically in every one of his minutes. And so uh, we never take for granted how hard he competes, uh, even on the nights where he might not have the huge scoring numbers, which isn't going to be every night. Yeah, and then I, I feel like I saw the same thing from Casey Wallace, especially in the first half. Like, what what did you like from him tonight? Yeah, building on our conversation before, you know, he's this is his third time playing against this team. It's his third time with exposure to Harden was his main matchup. He had George a little bit, but um, you know, he's learning, and he's a guy that is a quick study. You know, so it incentivizes us to continue to try to put him in situations um, where he can continue to grow because he competes and and holds water out there, but he also uh, he grows and he learns, and uh, he's got good days ahead of him. This isn't the player that we want him to be, but he's certainly uh, the player that he is right now is helping our team. Anybody else? Yeah, you, um, you went small. When Russ comes in, they go on a 10 0 run, then you go small, then you go on a run the lead. What did you see that, that worked there? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to take a look at that tonight. You know, I would the, the thing I'd say is in the first part of the season, uh, we did a lot of good things. One of the things I reflected on in All-Star break was um, it, not allowing the fact that we had a good record in the first part of the season or the fact that we had some early success get in the way of continuing to have a very aggressive, exploratory mindset with the team. And with lineups and with tactics, we have to keep pushing to get better and stretching ourselves. And that starts with me. And so um, I'm going to continue to be aggressive about you know, finding what's best for our team. There's going to be failure uh, along the way in doing that, but I think that's the the only way to uncover the best version of your team. And going small was one of those things tonight, and uh, obviously it was effective when we used it. Um, and you know, tomorrow night it'll be something different, and the next night it'll be something different. But we have to keep pushing and stretching. It's too early in the season to just um, you know lock into the team that we are.